Lally ho, folks, and welcome back to another Damage and Tank Shadowbringers main raids quest episode thing. Let's start that again. Nah, that'd be professional. We won't do that. Uh, welcome back to part three of my Shadowbringers Eden raid reaction tanking thing. Um, Reen has apparently... Was that not working? There we go. Reen has got something for us. She's got a little something. Um, nor any drop to drink. Reen's newly formed bond with Eden's core has led to a surprising discovery. Oh. I feel a lot more confident in my ability to control Eden now. Of course, this is only the beginning. And we shall accompany thee wheresoever this path may lead. But pray tell, what manner of discovery hast thou made? I understand how Eden's power works. And therefore the true nature of the Flood of Light? Yes. It affected the balance of all the ether in the empty, shifting it so far towards the umbral that it stopped flowing altogether power to tip the scales and to tip them back again that's what Eden does it controls the balance of ether over a wide area forcing it from one alignment to the other so it's a terraformer left alone it still poses a threat but if I can harness its power I think I could use it to breathe life back into the empty the trouble is I haven't the foggiest idea of where to start and if I go about this the wrong way, I'll do more harm than good. Thou needs not bear this burden alone, Reen, nor should thou. Thank you, Uncle Orianger. It is no simple matter of awakening that which lies dormant. All things in late nature are inexorably linked. The elements maintain a fragile harmony without which life cannot prosper. So, what should we do? A solution has begun to take shape in my mind, though it will require further discussion. For the time being, let us return to the camp. It would be remiss of us not to involve Thancred. I want to. I want to find out who this mysterious personage is, because that has intrigued me. I'm assuming this area is instanced, isn't it? I'm curious to know what connection that girl has to Eden. If only she told us a bit more before she collapsed. Still sleeping soundly, I'm afraid. If I'd known she'd take so long to come round, I'd have bought a good book or two to pass the time. Good on you, Thancred. Reading. My friends, I believe I have struck upon a method by which we may see this world restored. Rianje, before you go any further, allow me to make a potentially very long story slightly shorter. The plan is to control Eden and realign the ether of the empty, right? In essence, yes. However, unleashing elemental energies haphazardly will not suffice. In addition, the empty is unfathomably vast. Were we only able to effect change over one small region at a time, it would take many lifetimes to complete even a fraction of our task. Instead, our energies would be better spent revitalizing each element in order that we might set in motion a more widespread transformation. One at a time. I hate to say this, but I don't think Eden will be able to draw out a single element without affecting the others. For that very reason, we shall select a location in which the ambient ether we wish to restore is at its most potent. So, like, volcanoes, fire, um, tops of mountains, wind... And so on and so forth. Even in a dormant state, certain elements will be more prevalent and therefore more easily manipulated. Then we rebalance the ether and return it to the land, whereupon it shall be borne on ethereal currents to the furthest reaches of the empty. So like a river. But what's to prevent the element from breaking free of Eden's hold and causing a disaster of some sort? 
It must need, it must need to be contained. The question is how? Uh oh. Demogen, indulge me a moment if thou wouldst. Pray, imagine a corporeal manifestation of each of the individual's elements. Primals. Moogles! <laughs> Mayhap thou art afeard to utter the fateful word, or to even speak the name Primal is to invite misfortune. Though invite it we must. As the ether is drawn forth and realigned by Eden, we shall perform a summoning as Master Louisois once did on the fields of Cardinal. As one who hath laid low countless primals, thy memories will shape the ether into a deiform entity, which must subsequently be dispersed in the traditional fashion. So we're going to create primals and then destroy them to control bursts of elemental ether. So, defeat it, in other words. Is that even possible? We've done it before. I break my fast on primals. Lest thou forget, it will be no more than an approximation of a foe thou hast previously bested. Yeah, I don't think it will be. I have every confidence in thine abilities, Demogen. As do I, though I... Might help. It might help to have some idea of what you will be up against. Have you decided which element to tackle first? I propose water, the source of all life. So, Leviathan. That would be an interesting one to fight. As for the location, an area to the west of Norvant was once home to the world's deepest ocean. Alas, the flood of light reduced it to a yawning chasm. Water. Yes, that seems like a good choice. I'll see if Eden can take us where we need to go. And I shall prepare for the summoning. Tancred! Wouldst thou keep watch over our enigmatic antagonist? She may have vital information to impart. In the event that she becometh agitated, thou mayest have need to restrain her. Someone's got to do it, I suppose. I'll be praying for your success while I wait here, twiddling my thumbs. I'm assuming we're going to find out who this person is at the end of this series of patches. <laughs> Still, I must say, I don't envy you being caught up in yet another one of Uyanger's madcap schemes. Though, come to think of it, if the creature you must fight is born from your own memories and imagination, why don't you try to think of something a bit tamer than the primals you fought in the past? Hmm, perhaps that's not how it works. Anyway, best of luck. Yeah, a big watery blob. Oh, look, it flies. Thumbnails for videos. Back we go to the core. Ba, ba, ba. Who are we, Andre? Leviathan is the ideal candidate to embody the element of water. Be warned that the circumstances of said summoning differ greatly from that of the primal encounter in the source, and the results are difficult to predict. Eden seems to be responding well to my instructions, so we should reach our destination in no time at all. Something's gonna go horribly wrong. Alright, this is the place. I'll see if I can draw out the water aspect of ether. The rest is up to you, Demogen. What are we using as the power source for this? Members of Leviathan come flooding back. Oh, I suppose we don't need to. That's, that's the whole point of Eden, isn't it? Inundation. An inundation of water. Awesome source.
Less than five minutes. Here we potentially go. Leviathan 2.5.0 point zero one. Once again, we seem to have a DPS who's uh, fighting or not paying attention. There we go. Leviabetus. So this is the deepest ocean. Oh. Hello. Um. Heritor of the world? Leviathan? Demma, I don't think you remember Leviathan particularly clearly, do you? <laughs> Hi, folks. First time hither. Um, Leviathan. Right, the other guy's going to main tank. I'm fine with that. I should probably macro that countdown thing. I'm going to stand over here. Away from the party. Oh. Yeah, so this is a remix. Of the Leviathan music. Yeah, so I I'm I'm being targeted a second on the uh tidal wave. Oh shit. Undersea Quake. Damage it. I'll use Eden's power. Good, good times. So this seems to be stack the fight. Yeah, this... This actually strikes me as kind of a... A mashup. Of different primal fights. Ah, wonderful. Tsunami. Not a clue where to stand. All right, stack on you.
Ah, I see. So, yes. I get it. Kind of. So that's just a... Tidal Ball is just a big old splash AoE. Your corpse shall feed the vortex. Uh... Be ready to get out of the middle in a minute. I am ready. I'm... After this tidal wave. Fail. Oh. Oh man. Yeah, I suppose I could use what's it, couldn't I? Arm's length. Are we going to get another phase, or is this it? Because it hasn't done... Oh. Yeah, sides. Tsunami. Ooh. Right, so you definitely want to make sure you smack bang in the center for that one. Fortunately, it doesn't knock you very far. No, and again. going to be a second phase. Nah.
Apparently not. That was a cool fight. Not super difficult at all, that one. Certainly a lot faster than the, uh, the second one. Good going. Oh. Well done, healers. Uh... Don't really mind which of those I get because I can only get one. Do, 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 do. Lally, ho, lally, ho, ho. An island wolf bank. Come on, people, cast your lots. I got the piece of armor. Excellent. So theoretically, I could get both armor and legs next week. A most emphatic victory, Demogen. Unfortunately, we cannot yet be certain if the ether is behaving as predicted. That was incredible. Is that what a primal looks like? Because, of course, Reen hasn't ever seen one because we've not actually had any primal fights. The Titania trial, the the Dying Gasp trial, the uh, Crown of the Immaculate trial, none of those were primals. Although Titania was kind of close. The primal of mischief. Oh, not quite the same then. Why is that? The Leviathan of the Source was summoned by the Sahagin, to whom he was no less than a god. Without their faith, the deiform entity that we brought into existence differed on a fundamental level, though it was no less formidable. The manifestation relied upon Demogen's experiences, Leviathan, and may have been influenced by recollections of other water-aspected beings, leading to further discrepancies. Memories brought to life. But I still can't tell if our plan actually worked. We'll just have to wait and see, I guess. This will be a fine time for Thancred to call, telling her us she's woken up. How goes it? If you've finished slaying your primal, or whatever it is, I suggest you get back here on the double. There's something you ought to see. Hmm. Who's it going to be? I really have no idea. Hmm, what could that be? Evidently, our only recourse is to return to our base of operations forthwith. Nod. Back we go, then. Ba, 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 ba. Ah. Thankwood. Yo! Demogen, look! We did a thing! There's water! That is surprisingly satisfying. Damn, too slow. By the Twelve's good grace, tis a marvel to behold. I never thought the whole lake would suddenly appear like this. Oh, we're just getting started. I only hope the burden is not too much for you, Demogen. Nah. So this is what Thancred wanted us to see. Not... 
person waking up. The Eden design isn't quite as colourful as the one in 8. Demogen obtains lots of materia. Such a profound transformation that the change appeareth to be limited to an area no more than a few miles in diameter. You know, when I first heard Uriange's plan, I didn't know what to expect, but then that enormous crystal appeared and water came gushing forth, and well... It is rather impressive. Where do those crates come from? And also... Why is there a cart here? That's just really random. That's cool, though. I um, I took a trip back to the Dome and Enclave uh, because I'm I'm still leveling mine up because I didn't do any of it in Stormblood, and I was thinking, you know, I, I just completed the. The barracks, I think it was, shows you how far behind I am. I'm working on the lighthouse now. And you got that message about, you know, how might this, that, and the other change as you offer contributions. And it reminded me of, you know, um, Mordona, Revenant's Toll being built. And it's like... Is there an area in Shadowbringers that might undergo a similar transformation? And up until this point, it was like... No, not really. And here we are. Clearly, this is going to change, I guess, as we go through. You know, we're going to get grass back or lava spewing volcanoes in the background or something. That will be really cool. Chink! I really enjoyed that fight, though. The Leviathan fight was good. Um, I'm going to have to go back and listen to the music again because I'm sure that was a mashup of different primal themes. Um, I'm sure I heard bits of Levi the, the, the Leviathan theme in there, but also um, other bits and pieces as well. I may well be misremembering it. I don't do the extreme primals very often because they're a little bit old on the content side these days. Also, I've got all the mounts from them i guess next time we'll find out what the fourth did it just get darker it did um yeah next time we'll find out what the fourth eden raid level is until that time thank you all very much for watching and lally oh thank you very much for watching if you enjoyed the video click the like button and subscribe. Remember to ring the bell notification icon to get notified when new videos go live. And until next time, toodle pip.